and welcome to the Australia vlog. We are currently finishing up packing right now. I actually just turned off the camera from my pack with me for Australia video. If you guys missed it, I will link it because it's going up before this vlog. But I filmed stuff like that so that I'll have stuff to do on the plane. But oh, thank God. Okay. I've been looking for this. This is my travel pillow. I'm excited about it. I'm just finishing up a snack. It's like all I've had to eat today, which is pretzels and garlic hummus, but it's like. It's from Trader Joe's, and this is shit. It's so good. Mm. But I'm going to finish up packing my backpack, my little personal carry-on thing, and I will see you guys at LAX. <laughs> So it's Trevor's first time at Tom Bradley. He's always wanted to go to this terminal. Is it living up to your expectations, babe? Beautiful. Yeah. Gorgeous here. But we are currently an hour and a half early for our flight. It took us 45 minutes to get checked in and through security. Yeah. And an internet. I was actually, I will give it to LAX as much as I don't like LAX. Um, their security was really fast. We thought it was going to be like a 40 minute wait for security alone. And it was like... We sped right through. I think we spent 25 minutes in the security. Yeah. So now we're, we're looking for our gate, or do you want to walk around? I want to walk around. Well, actually, no. Let's look at our gate, find out where it is, and then we'll, we'll walk around, maybe grab a snack. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. slightly jealous of mine because mine's like the fancy one where even oh, if your neck falls <laughs> even if your neck falls <laughs> it still holds up comfy <laughs> It was so good. Um, so anybody planning to travel to Australia, spend the extra money, fly Quantum. Um, 
but they are holding our bags while we walk around and kind of check everything out. We're debating on if we want to get food. Probably will because the welcome party isn't till six later, so we might grab like a snack. But for right now, we are staying in the heart of Melbourne, so we have definitely like a lot of areas to explore, a lot of things to like check out. Um, so we're just gonna walk around and take it all in for a couple of hours. just between like riding in the airplane with my legs all folded and cramped and then we walked around for like two hours I am like so ready to just like lay down for a little while so we're hanging here just for a couple of hours then we need to get ready and then head to the welcome party um but we just got like literally like a budget room this is honestly it and then the bathroom is right through that door so it was just like more important for us to be in downtown so that we could like immerse ourselves and be able to get to everything very quickly like there's tons of cafes and restaurants literally right outside the door to this hotel and also this hotel is like right on the transportation hub which is great because the welcome party and the wedding and then also the dolphin swimming tomorrow those are all really really far apart um so we needed to be able to get to public transportation really easily so that was how we ended up at this one we were thinking of an airbnb but the thing is like there's no concierge at the airbnb to like help us with transportation or like restaurant suggestions or anything like that and um we couldn't find one like kind of in the heart of melbourne that was a decent price so this was a nice little budget find for sure and you guys look how cool this is the view from our hotel room i love this on the other side right there and then just so much like great architecture over here i love it okay so got ready i'm in my set from amazon and my makeup my hair and we are heading to the welcome party we have to take public transportation it's gonna take like a little over an hour so we should arrive there just a little after six which is fine but we're excited to finally see Smitha. This is our first time seeing her since she moved to Australia, obviously. So, um. Tell them how hot it is outside. Oh, yeah. It was only supposed to be like, what, 80 something degrees today? It's like 102. We are roasting. Currently at the train station. There. Just trying to figure out how to get there because we're very unfamiliar with this. Although this can't be much different than like New York subway, which we figured out fine. Yeah, we had homeless people helping us out. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is bliss. And right now we are headed to Enterprise. We're renting a car today. Trevor is gonna drive because we're going to Sorrento to go swim with some dolphins and seals out in the ocean. Super excited. I've always wanted to swim dolphins. 
So um, I was really excited to find out that they offer that here. But it is kind of far and we just decided it would be more time and financially efficient to just rent a car. Um, also it would be a fun experience for Trevor to drive on the other side of the road. So it was just luck. All right, so halfway point check-in on this drive. We're still alive. I know that looks like I'm driving. Trevor's actually driving. He's getting gas right now. But yeah, honestly, it's not the actual being on the other side of the road that's confusing. You wanna come in? Sure. It's more like the way that their roads are structured. It's very different um, from how it is in the US or from California, so you wanna lock it? It was just like kind of confusing because they have like roads that parallel each other. So it looks like you're on one road when you're really on the other. Yeah, but we're getting it. <laughs> okay, so I've been very curious about these. We just went and got snacks. I bought a bag of these yesterday, but I'm saving that bag for Michelle and I. We're going to do a mukbang with some of the Australian snacks, but I really want to try this one. So first impression of Cheezels, which they honestly look like Cheetos in a ring. So... Mmm! Oh my god. This tastes like a better version of a Cheeto. It's delicious. Mmm! Yes. and pretty here it's definitely like a very beachy area which makes me feel right at home because you know I live by the beach and I love it so I really really love this area it's just gorgeous done swimming with the dolphins and seals it was so much fun it was really cool to like swim with them out in the ocean and like their environment the seals were super friendly they were just yeah. watching us yeah, yeah. About take the second exit on state route 23 boundary road um but yeah they come right up to you and then we got challenged a little bit because um we were trying to find wi-fi so that we could connect to GPS because like fun fact, if ever you're like somewhere where you know you're gonna lose um, Wi-Fi but you need to um, use GPS, as long as you can connect to GPS and get the GPS. Quarter of a mile. Turn left on White Street. Um, get the GPS to come up with all of the directions and stuff. Even if you go on airplane mode, turn off your data, turn off your Wi-Fi, it'll still follow you and it'll still track you and give you the directions and stuff without you having to like lose all of that so we were trying to drive around and find wi-fi for that and we ended up stopping at a maccas <laughs> maccas which is mcdonald's to get wi-fi and then we tried the mcdonald's here it's like a little bit better quality would you say than america a little bit yeah, not as good as europe's better. quality yeah we wanted to see what the difference was there wasn't that much of a difference in the menu no, either I, I thought yeah i thought that there was gonna be more of a difference because like if you go to like europe or asia the menu is very very different um they still have the general menu but they have what different little subs 
section. Yeah, like I know in Canada you can get poutine, I believe, in McDonald's. In Germany you can get a beer. Mm-hmm. I think I think in the Philippines you can get fried chicken and rice at McDonald's. Turn left on White Street. So Racist. we wanted to see what they might have here. Didn't really see anything. Um, Trevor's been doing a very, very good job driving. Clearly, we're still alive. But now we're just As know. long as I don't put on the windshield wiper. <laughs> yeah, so here even like the windshield wiper and the signal are switched on like the um, on the wheel, which makes sense. But you know, you're so used to like signal on this side that he keeps turning on the windshield wipers, which is fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, now we're headed back to the city. The city's a scary part to drive in. Like this all has been like almost country road. And they have the most fucked up turns. Beautiful. Yes, the the city. You turn right from the left lane. <laughs> it's got like these things it's called hook turns where you have to like basically go like that to make a right as opposed to just making a right. So I like um, that. <laughs> so it's very confusing. Um, but luckily we don't have to drive in there for that long. We just have to get the car back to Enterprise. So fingers crossed. <laughs> Okay, so we are headed out to go walk around, explore, then get some dinner a little bit later. I'm a little bit sad. I brought my striped Revolve tube dress, put it on, and it was stained. I don't know how, but I'm really, really bummed. I'm hoping that it comes off. Hopefully it wasn't like henna, but I don't think I touched that dress at all last night. So I just defaulted to my usual oversized graphic tee. Me too. <laughs> You're such a butthole. <laughs> shopping, secured some souvenirs for people and for ourselves, and now we're going to a rotating sushi bar. Exciting, because I love rotating sushi. But we're on our way to go get some breakfast and then I lost a lash so we need to find a drugstore to get me some lashes and then it's the wedding today so um, busy day but we're excited. back in our room and I'm about to start getting ready. I think I already mentioned earlier but I needed to go get lashes because I lost a pair and I was so excited. They have my favorite lashes of all time. These are the Eilor 143s so I was really excited that I was able to find them because I've been having a really hard time finding these in the states. Like 
Target used to carry them all the time, so did Ulta, and now it's like I can barely find them. So I jumped on these when I saw them, and then I got a bag full of Australian drugstore makeup to try out. I will be doing like a first impression, get ready with me ish video where I'm gonna try out all of these Australian brand makeup products, which like I'm so excited about. So that'll be coming up on my channel soon. But yeah, that'll be in a different video, but I'm really, really excited for this. Um, but anyways, I have to start getting ready for the wedding. We were fortunate enough to make friends with some people who funnily enough, actually flew in on the same flight as us. They like, we kept passing by the row and we didn't even know and we met them at the welcome party the other night. So they were kind enough to offer us a ride because they ended up deciding to rent a car for the entirety of their trip. So we just have to go meet up with them at their Airbnb and then we're carpooling with them to the wedding, which helps us out so much. So gotta get ready. Definitely don't wanna make anybody late. And I'm excited for this wedding. My hen is still on, except for the part on my palm is a little bit faded because I guess when I slept, I put my hand underneath the pillow at one point and I got like half of the henna on the pillow. So I hope that we don't get charged for that. But um, I'm so excited about this. This is like so cool. This is like one of the things that I was most excited about for her wedding was getting my hands headed because I think that it's just so awesome. And the lady did just like such a beautiful job. Okay, so we just finished getting ready. Actually cleaned up pretty nicely. In my dress from Super Down, have on my clutch and my, um, my wrap, henna. And then they were also giving away bangles at the welcome party. So I grabbed some matching bangles to my dress and now we're gonna go meet up with a ride. to go get some breakfast. We're getting dumplings because we heard like dumplings here were really, really good. But it's our last full day in Melbourne and we are doing probably the most Australian um, activity of our whole stay. We're going to this place called Phillip Island this afternoon and they have like a sanctuary where you can interact and get up close and personal with koalas and kangaroos. And then there's like a little penguin community at night that does like a little march on the beach. So we're excited to go see that. Currently in my exploring outfit, um, cause I'm gonna take lots of pictures. I had this outfit picked out specifically in mind for this, but just have on my bi tank top, my cords, my Timberlands, looking very Australian. And yeah, cause I'm definitely gonna take pictures at that place. I want a picture with a koala or a kangaroo.
Just got done with the kangaroos and the koalas and stuff. What do you think? It's a lot of fun. You can mm -hmm. talk. <laughs> but yeah, we got to like totally get up and close with a koala. They're really soft. Um, and we got to feed wallabies and kangaroos, which is really awesome. So definitely a good Australian experience. Yeah, they eat so gently from your hand. It's really crazy. So loved it because we get really excited about that and then now we are headed to Phillip Island to tour the island and then towards the evening there's gonna be a little penguin march where all the penguins come up from the beach and into their like little homes so we get to witness that Okay, so we are here at the Penguin Parade Center. Got myself a little sweatshirt. Um, unfortunately, no photography is allowed of the penguins, so I won't be able to show you guys the Penguin Parade itself. So I'm probably gonna sign off for a little while, and I'll see you guys afterwards. So just got done with the Penguin March. It was really, really cute. Wish we could have shown you, but obviously we wanted to be respectful of the rules. But maybe Trevor will do a little demo for you guys. <laughs> That's basically it. That's basically what they did. <laughs> Except for they were a lot smaller and a lot cuter than that. Alright you guys, so we just got back to our hotel room and we have an early flight out tomorrow morning so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because we are just gonna be packing the rest of the night and then we're literally going straight to the airport in the morning. So overall it's been a really really fun trip. Definitely 4.5 out of 5 stars. Only thing that was missing was that we didn't come across one Outback Steakhouse while we were here, so that was a disappointing. That is Sarah's dad joke. <laughs> I've been making that joke all trip. No, seriously, it was a really, really good trip. What do you think, Trevor? I thought it was amazing, and I like that. <laughs> so that's our photo from hanging out with the koala. Um, I think his name was Iluka, and yeah, today was definitely a lot of fun. But highly recommend that tour if you get a chance to take it. It was with um, Australian Wildlife Tours. We booked it through Expedia, and it was the Phillip Island. <laughs> it was the Phillip Island tour. Highly, highly recommend the kangaroos, koalas, and the wallabies was definitely the highlight of the and trip. Um, well, that was, those were the highlight of the day, but the penguins were pretty freaking awesome too. Um, we, sh we could have showed you guys that, but Trevor did justice to what it looks like in the earlier clip. Uh, there he goes again um, with his penguin shirt. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next weekend vlog back in the States.